Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to lesson 4 of how to program in C++. Today we're going to be learning the if statement. A powerful statement to have. Control statement, even. Now, uh, what control statements are, basically, it's, it gives the computer the ability to ask questions and compare different variables, or just two different uh, numbers, or anything. It can compare things. Basically, so what we're going to do is create a new project, as always, uh, console application. I'm a little bit tired right now, so that if I say anything weird, that's probably why. Uh, C++, as usual, and this time we're going to call it control statements. I think, yeah, that, that, that sounds like a final title. Again, I'm putting it in my C++ lessons folder. Cool, and uh, yeah. So, opening up, main.cpp, and here we go, let's delete all this shiz. But first of all, I guess I should tell you what we're going to go over. We're going to go over the if statement, as I said in the beginning. And the way this works is, say you have a variable called Steve, and a variable called John. And you want to work out if Steve is bigger than John. Well, the way you do that is, if bracket uh, Steve is bigger than John Ooh, the microphone moved there I apologize if there's any weird sound then it will do whatever so you can say see out uh, John oops John <laughs> is wait if Steve is bigger than John. Steve <laughs> is bigger da da and then so basically what this would do is if the variable Steve was bigger than John it would output Steve is bigger yes Steve is bigger by itself I thought I typed Steve is bigger than John but I guess I didn't so yeah let's uh, let me move this back a second okay there we go sorry about that if, if there was a little cut there it was because I was starting the microphone um, okay, so let's go over this little bit here. This means greater than, so if Steve is greater than John. However, there's quite a few different symbols that you can have here. These are called operators, by the way. You could have less than instead of greater than, so that would be if Steve was less than John, so this wouldn't make any sense whatsoever. Or you could have less than equal to, which basically means, well, less than or equal to, which means if Steve is less than John or Steve is equal to John it will do this or we can have the opposite obviously like greater than or equal to which is basically the same way thing the other way around or we can have just two equal signs which just means equal to now you can't just have one equal sign because that will try and set Steve to the value of John so you have to have two to compare them so it's like, if Steve is equal to John, see out, Steve is bigger. It's like Steve wrote this program, and he's trying to, trying to one-up John. So there's one more that we're going to learn right now, and that is not equal. So if Steve is not equal to John, it will see out, Steve is bigger. So uh, yeah, that's, that's how if statements work. So I guess we should write a program. Uh, we'll write something pretty simple uh, okay uh, let's first of all include our IO stream wow I forgot the hashtag my bad uh, include IO stream super cool whoops no semicolon using namespace std okay with me so far and then we're gonna enter our main function there we go, and I'm gonna add the little return zero, as I always do right at the beginning. So what I want this program to do is it's gonna specify a number, and then you get to enter in a number, and it will compare it in all different ways and tell you whether it's greater than or it's the same or whatever. So and we're gonna do this in quite an inefficient way. We'll learn more efficient ways later on, but for now, this is, we're just gonna throw in a whole load of if statements. So first we want to ask the question. So see out. 
Um, well, first we'll tell them the number. So, uh, number. Uh, actually, we'll get them to enter in two numbers, and that that way. So let's make our variables first. In number one, and in number two. I know I normally tell you to in initialize all variables, but for this you don't really have to because the user has to enter something in, so we are going to have something in there. So, see out, oops, enter number one. And then we'll have a cn to number one. Cool. Oops. <laughs> Vin. <laughs> cn. And then we'll have a C out. And we'll say, gosh darn it, still working on my keyboard skills right now. Enter number, ugh, number <laughs> two, colon, space, super cool. And then C in number two. There we go. So, once we've got all our information in the computer, we can output what we want to output. So, we'll first go for if, because there's going to be a whole load of if statements. Oh god. Oh god. Do not press the insert button. If number one is greater than number two, then C out. Um, number one is greater, and I'm gonna guess enter in another one. So if number ugh, one is less than number two, see out number. One is less. So I could go through all the different ones, but it's fairly obvious. So I'm just going to let you in on another little bit. Oops, semicolon. I'm just going to show you one more thing to do with if statements or just control statements in general right now. And that is curly brace brackets and how they allow you to enter in more than one thing. So say you wrote in if number one is equal to number two and you wanted it to do two things like see out uh, number one is equal to number two and then for some reason you also wanted to tell them see out <laughs> number oops parentheses where are you and uh, number two is equal to number one okay so you want to tell the user both these things however if you were to run that and if the numbers were to equal each other it would just it would bring up this one but it well I, blah, 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 let me start again <laughs> even if these numbers were not equal it would output this regardless and um, let's actually add some end lines to all these things because it could happen that multiple things come up of the same nature so I'm just gonna paste these in I know I tell you not to paste things in but because I've left it so long Let's okay. Let's test it then. Let's make something that's larger than, and then it will it will tell me the opposite. Hopefully, it yeah it does compile. Okay, so number one is three, number two is four, but it says it's equal to number one. So this is where curly brace brackets come in. Uh, let's throw one there, and let's just have this so it's on the same level, and then let's close it up. So now that if well, if that is true, then it's going to do all of this. Everything between these two curly brace brackets. So it's going to show both of these. Super cool. So 
let's build them around it. And say they're both equal. 64 and 64. <gasps> wow, that comes up. Wow, I really mucked up my kind of... There. Yeah, there. Okay. But, okay, so let's test the other ones then, I guess. Um, 30, 43, 12. Yay, it all works. Okay, cool. Sorry this lesson's not very detailed or anything. I, uh, it's just a bit tired and... I didn't think this through enough, I guess. But yeah, th hopefully this helps you out with your if statements. And next time we'll go over for statements, which is another control statement. And once we got that down, we'll forget about control statements for now. And we'll move on to bigger and better things for a while. So I hope you join me for that. See you guys later for another one tomorrow. Yes, because these are daily now, I decided.